All right, today we are going to install the Karaokin Mini floorboard without adapters. You have to buy the line adapters for whatever model you use. Um, they tell you to put these on and then put the peg on there. I put the peg on there just so I have easier leverage to get the pin through there. Just a little key thing. And then we are going to install the riot shift peg as well. We'll need Loctite, a ratchet. I use an extension for the pegs, a quarter inch Allen key, a 13 millimeter wrench. Uh, one side I'll show you how to use the pick. The other side, I'll show you how to use the screwdriver to get the little C-clamp on. Then the needle nose to get the clip back on there. Let's dive into the bike and get everything installed. All right, now we need to remove this clip. And all you got to do is just pry it out. Just like that, little clip pops in that little groove right there. Now put it off to the side. What we'll do is remove this cotter pin. Just push it right up. And then once you get it there, we'll pull up for the top and this peg will move, so be careful. All right, now just be careful the spring doesn't pop out. And if you look right there, there's the hole that the spring will go back into and there'll be a hole. Remove the spring for the peg, there's another hole in there. And the new bracket has those holes as well. All right, with our mini floorboard and our adapter, our spline adapter, if you see the splines, it lines up to the grooves there. You just take your supplied washer and the nut, put the washer on the nut like that, and then we'll screw the two together. Take your spline adapter, make sure you have it oriented right with this at the bottom, because that's the part that's gonna go against the brace. And we'll put our bolt through there and thread it down. Take the quarter inch Allen key, and we'll tighten it down. All right, I left it loose so I can uh, adjust it once I get it on there. Now we'll take our, our spring and we'll put the curved side into the peg side. Now we'll take the straight spring and stick it in the hole. All right, now with the pin shoved in there, make sure you have the flat part at the bottom and we'll just get the pin lined up through the hole through here, through the actual peg assembly and the spring itself, and then the other side. This is the trickier part. Push it all the way through. You just may have to bend it around and finagle it. We'll go ahead and put the C-clip on the bottom, and then we'll adjust this so it doesn't roll around. All right, now we'll take the little clip, and what I do is I get it lined up to stay right there, take my needle nose, put it on one side of the bolt, and on the clip so just like this and then just push it in place make sure it's all the way around and then I take my little knee nose and just squeeze it down a little bit perfect put it in the center to start off with you can adjust it backwards and forwards I'll uh, put a note here once I decide where I liked it and go from there but I'm starting in the middle first all right we'll take our quarter inch I put an extension on there as well with our ratchet and or you can use an allen key but we'll go ahead and torque this down to its as tight as i can get it and it has locked tight on the bolt so and it comes that way and then it folds up just gotta be careful if it does if you do knock it over it will hit your gear shifter as it goes up but i think we'll be okay with the floorboards so now we'll head over to the other side do the same thing all right, on this side, I'll use the flathead screwdriver to pull the piece out. Just get it wedged in there just right, and it just slide right out. There's the pin. All right, now we'll push the cotter pin in and just pull it out through the top. Here's that. Put it off to the side, and then we'll pull the peg out. Just like that. Get it all lined up. Take the short end, put it in the hole of the peg and take the longer end and put it in the hole on the arm assembly. And then we'll get the pin lined all the way through. All right, with that all the way through, we'll put the pin on. All right, with the cotter pin all the way through, we'll go ahead and line up our little snap ring here. Take our needle nose pliers and just press it in.
make sure it's all the way in the groove and it spins a little bit and that's how you install the peg we'll go ahead and adjust this one in the middle again like it's flat all right with the peg installed it does not hit the exhaust it's close but it's it does not hit anything any part of the motor With the supply bolt and the lock washer, we'll go ahead and thread it all the way through the shift lever. All right, with our bolt all the way threaded through, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little Loctite on here. And we'll thread it into the new shift peg. And take our 13 millimeter wrench, tighten the bolt up, try to keep it as level as possible. Just hand tight, a little bit of pressure. And there you go. Well, here they are after five or 6,000 miles, just a little dirty, but they held, have held up very well. The paint or powder coating, there's a little bit that's rubbed off right there, but they have held up very well. Let's get into the review of them and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like. Well, as for my review, I would definitely recommend them. I have never had any issues with them. I, I wish I would have put these on the Sportster or some kind of mini floorboards, but they make the ride so much more comfortable. I always cramped up with my feet on the factory pegs, which I mean, it is what it is. Some people like them, some people hate them, but I recommend the floorboards. My biggest complaint, and it's really just minute, went on a long ride, probably four hours, you know, on and off the bike, and I felt some vibration in my foot, maybe like a dampening pad to fit in there to kind of take up some of the vibration, but nothing major. But Kuroki makes really good products. I've been very impressed with those pegs and a couple other friends of mine have used some Kuroki products and they have some great ones. I'll link them down below, try to get you the best price I can, but click on there and check them out. Put them on your bike, easy install. I read, like I said, I highly recommend them. But guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing, it's free if you have not already, and we'll catch you on whatever I'm doing next. Remember, ride safe, ride something, and we'll see you then.